exhausting, but I'm very, very sure, very, very pleasurable uh, experience. Uh, everybody's worked hard, especially the Wiscraft crew, uh, Virat, Andre, Sabas, who head uh, Wiscraft, have been fantastic. We really look forward to presenting uh, Indian cinema to our Western audiences. And um, we're also very excited about having a very interactive process throughout the World Show with you, all the media. Um, thanks to um, Samir and Entity We Imagine. Uh, we look forward to sharing this entire experience we have with you all back home and uh, really making you all a part of the entire uh, world tour. So we're very excited about that. We look forward to your best wishes, your blessings and support, uh, which I'm sure we have. Uh, but thank you very much for that. And um, yes, uh, come on board, have an unforgettable experience and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much, everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media and friends. Thank you so much, uh, Sabas, for this very warm welcome. And thank you for all your kind words of encouragement. It's been a while since uh, I went on a tour like this, and uh, way back in 1983, when we had completed a very exhaustive tour. I had sworn that I would never ever go back onto a live concert experience again because it's been very tough, very hard, and uh, the butterflies in the stomach and the other nervousness that accompanies us is just too unbearable. And therefore, we thought that uh, we'd had enough and we would rest. But year after year, something that began just as uh, almost a joke uh, has developed into something so huge and so wonderful that it's becoming irresistible not to be associated with um, an effort like this. What prompted me this time was the fact that um, the very impressive management qualities of Wiscraft and the three gentlemen that are involved in Wiscraft they have, uh, in their own manner and in their own very sophisticated style, brought a lot of uh, managerial impetus into all our events, whether it is uh, managing a small press conference to events that are going across the world, uh, just like IFA. And I think that uh, Indian cinema, Indian content, Indian artists do need this kind of management and this kind of projection because we do believe that we all have the talent, we have the energy and we have the capacity to be able to impress other parts of the world other than India. And what we needed really was a group of people who could package us very well and send us out and project us in a manner which is appreciated by the rest of the world as well. Sabas talked about experience. I think uh, it was way back in 1981 when I first went out. I was invited by Lataji, Lata Mangeshwarji, to just come and uh, say hello to the audience uh, at a show that she was doing in uh, New York at the Felt Forum. The Felt Forum is a smaller venue of the legendary Madison Square Gardens. And uh, once I reached there, I had just been shooting for a film of mine called Barbaris, where I sang a song, uh, Mary and Meme, and uh, she said, you know, it'd be nice if you could sing this song. So a lot of things were just very impromptu. It was a very small, impromptu little stage, and uh, that's how we started off. But even before Lataji uh, called me, I still remember that soon after Jay and me got married, uh, we were invited uh, in London to some kind of a show that was being organized by uh, people here in Mumbai and the locals there in London. And I remember going to uh, the first one in South Hall in London, and there were five people in the auditorium. The two of them were Jair's relatives, and there were three ushers. <laughs> and this was a frightening experience. Um, later on that tour, we were asked to go to another little suburb close by, 
and we drove there and uh, we got a message, uh, could you just keep driving around the venue because nobody has arrived and maybe if, if they see you or something like that, they may turn up to uh, watch this uh, event of ours. So we went into a small hall which was half the size of this present press conference and uh, people were just walking in and they were asked to bring their own chairs actually. Uh, from there to mature to uh, this wonderful press conference that has been organized and so much interest and uh, such a lot of managerial capacity and, and uh, inputs that have gone in. Uh, to play uh, Madison Square Gardens, to play uh, Wembley Stadium, you know, 65, 70,000 people. Uh, to play at the, um, well, Nassau Coliseum and the Giant Stadium in New Jersey. Again, a 70, 80,000 crowd is just unimaginable comparing it with some of the earlier experiences that we had. So, uh, I think that all of us have, uh, every member of the film fraternity, all the artists, have all contributed in, in making uh, our country very proud, our film industry very proud. And I'm so happy that today we are uh, venturing out yet again with even more professional management and the kind of skills and the lighting and the, and the orchestras and the uh, computerized uh, way in which all these shows are organized. It's just unbelievable for me. So I'm very happy to be associated. I hope that uh, my age will allow me to uh, do some of the stuff that I've been doing last 10, 15 years. It is a tough task and uh, Rehearsals are, are, are very tiring and exhausting, but as uh, Abhishek said, he's willing to take up if uh, I uh, collapse or I'm unable to do stuff. Thank you so much, Abhishek. It's very kind. Um, very happy once again for this wonderful turnout of the media and to project us uh, in such a, a formidable, positive manner and to risk up yet again. Thank you for putting this thing together. Thank you. Mr. Bachchan, Abhishek, Aishwarya, Shamak, Preeti, Ritesh. Welcome to the stage also Samir Nair, CEO, NTV Imagine. Whilst this was on, Samir committed that he's going to light up one more village. So we've got two villages tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a message we're taking across the world as thought bearers of light. This is not for people somewhere else in the world. Nine states in India would benefit people in Myanmar, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and across the Africa belt.